Listen, we're going to let the situation play out, but <laughs> she has some explaining to do. Okay. <laughs> so I'm so excited for this season. I saw the first episode. So how are you feeling going into it? I feel great. Um, first episode, I just saw it too. Mm -hmm. And didn't realize how much I was just all over the place at the party. Um, but you know, that's just typical Giselle. So I'm fine with it. What what kind of uh, surprised you the most about the first episode then? Um, I don't know, but I was watching it telling myself like, go sit in the corner, go sit down. Like I'm just screaming, like go be by yourself. Like, you know, I was actually shocked that Ashley was kind of vacillating on whether or not she's really going to get divorced. Like that was like weird for me. Yeah. When she first said that she was getting a divorce from Michael, when she first brought that up, what was your initial reaction? Were you happy about, I mean, obviously you're not happy that somebody's getting divorced with young children, but were you hopeful for her for the future? Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. Ashley is somebody that I love and, you know, I, I actually like Michael as well, but it's very clear that there's a disconnect with the two of them and there has been for a little bit, for a little while now. So um, I know that whatever she decides to do, she's going to be fine. Yeah. Would you ever buy a house with an ex like that? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know anyone that's done that. <laughs> How is she doing now? Is she, uh, you know, is she completely over that situation or is she, you know, dating? What's, what's a single Ashley look like? <laughs> Single Ashley is in the streets, okay? She is killing it dead in the streets and I'm not mad at her. Like she's mm -hmm. really living her best life and looking beautiful, all that. So I'm, I'm here for this Ashley. Definitely. And where do we find you where this, when this season picks up? What's going on in your life? I am, it's like hitting me in the face that my kids are about to leave me and I'm going to be by myself. And um, yeah, I need to figure out like what my next chapter looks like. Yeah. What kind of scares you about that the most? God, everything, yeah. like everything, you know, I do so much with my kids. I hang out with them, mm -hmm. you know, like my girls, the four of us have been so tight for so long that I just don't know what that next phase looks like for me. I really don't. And it's a little scary. Yeah. Does any part of it excite you at all too? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I have girlfriends and they're like, their kids come up to college and they're like, woo, yes. And I'm just like, not feeling that. I mean, hopefully I'll get there one day. I just do not feel that right now. No, definitely not. No. And then you're also going through a big home renovation as well, right? Yes, my house is like 95% done. The only thing I, I don't have done yet is like the outside. Mm -hmm. Like I have had a, um, a deck and everything put outside. So that I'm still working on that. Very nice. Um, but yeah, like re renovating a home is tiring. It is, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, kind of happy that's over. Right, definitely. Now you get to enjoy it. Um, and you know, in this um, trailer, there's a lot of chatter about your dating life this season and whether or not you are dating Peter Thomas. Can you settle those rumors and, and let us know or, or even like how you think those rumors even started? Yes. Okay, definitely. I thought I addressed this like um, on social media or something. Yeah, no. Dating Peter Thomas at all. Um definitely know where the rumors came from and i say that during the season so i'll let it play out but it came from one of the ladies mm -hmm. she kind of deflect from herself um but and it was just too coincidental like it happened right when we were on our trip in miami like it was just ah a little bit of too much of a coincidence yeah how's dating going now good dating is good i mean i you know we all know that i'm, I'm like a serial dater i like to date um, but not taking anything too seriously. Okay. And, and you're happy with that? Are you looking for yeah. something serious? My choice. My, yeah. Are you looking for anything serious or you want to just, are you, like you said, happy in this state? I, I, I love where I am now. I feel like when the time is right for it to happen, like kids gone, all that, it will happen. Mm -hmm, definitely. Is it hard to date when, you know, you're in the public eye on the show and things like that? A little bit. It gets a little tricky. You know, people have their own agendas and motivation and you have to watch out for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then not everything should be for 
the show, so to speak. Like, for instance, if it's just somebody that I'm dating casually, I don't necessarily think that that's for millions of people to know. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it seems like an underlying theme, at least this season, based on the trailer, is a lot of, um, you know, about marriage, infidelity, things like that. You know, obviously we see Chris and Candace going through um, some ups and downs. And, you know, you kind of get involved with saying that, like, he kind of creeped you out a little bit. What kind of happens with that? Um, I'm, I'm like very clear about what happens like mm -hmm. throughout the season. and um, I, I'm going to say that I just didn't like how it was handled mm -hmm. after I was very honest and forthcoming about like how things made me feel. I just don't like how it was handled from their perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Robin giving uh, Juan a prenup, you know, all these uh, um, years later? <laughs> Yes, Robin, that's like boss B moves. He like, yes, I'm not, I tell everybody, do not get married without a prenup. I don't care who you are, I don't care how many dollars you have. Like, it is a necessity. Yes, definitely. Do you think that she's gonna get married anytime soon? I can't say. Mm -hmm. I will confirm or deny how I feel about that and what's gonna happen. <laughs> um, where do you and I mean, we see you and Wendy at the party in the first episode. It seems like there's still a little bit of bad blood between the two of you. Do you want to get in a good place with her? Or are we going to see that evolve at all over the season? Um, what you see in that first episode is pretty much it and all between me and Wendy. Like I could have said 10 words to her all season and, and I was happy with that. Um, probably nine words too many. Um, <laughs> So, you know, that's where I am with her. That's what, yeah, it seems like uh, no love lost between the two of you. Yeah. And then, you know, at the end of this episode too, we see um, you and Mia um, kind of, well, you know, kind of get called out for, you know, her post about her health situation. What was your reaction when you first read that? And why did you feel like you wanted to say something to her? Um, I don't think that, um, not everything is for social media. Mm -hmm. Not everything, you know, and, and if and if and if there is a situation where it is something like cancer, mm -hmm. that's not to be played with. It's not a joke or a game. So if you don't have cancer, then you you surely shouldn't be telling the world that. And you and as as housewives, as um people that are on this public platform, you have to be responsible for the things that you put out there. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I was saying to her, like, look, you can't just be willy nilly with what you're saying to the people because you're a housewife and this is a platform. And, you know, you have people to, you, you have to just be very uh, smart about the things that you're saying publicly. Does this carry on throughout the course of the season? No. No, okay. <laughs> Real quick. Okay, it's a, we wrap that up real quick. <laughs> uh, is a lot of like dealing with things, moving on, dealing with things, moving on. Like we don't, we're not, there's no like one story that we're harping on for the whole season. Cause God knows I don't have that kind of attention span. That would be boring for me. Okay. Right. Do you think that's what, why people, you know, obviously Potomac is a fan favorite. People gravitate towards this show for so many different reasons. But do you think that's one of the reasons why is because you guys have a conflict, you settle it, you move on? Um, I think that's one of the reasons. I think okay. that you know how to not just belabor um, an issue. Mm -hmm. it be very stagnant nobody we don't want to continue to talk about something over and over again and the viewers don't want to see it yeah and second second part to that is you know we got four ogs that are still rocking and rolling on potomac and i feel like like the success and the chemistry and like our secret sauce that that we really do have chemistry with the four of us yeah well yeah i mean i think to me a recipe for great housewives is when the people are actually friends and you guys are actually friends and you know you see that you you go through everybody's highs and lows together and i think that's what makes it work yes for sure definitely um what will you tell us about karen this season did she really step out on ray and is she able to have that eye candy that she likes <laughs> listen we're gonna let the situation play out but <laughs> He has some explaining to do. Okay. <laughs> I love it. And what was it like having Sharice back this season? Oh God, I loved it. I mean, Sharice is always a breath of fresh air. She mm -hmm. is really one of our friends. She's mm -hmm. somebody that I really do hang out with when, when the cameras are down. 
So I love having shoes around. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.